accident. Uh, and this is another way of, of seeing this, uh, folks, is that this isn't just uh, a church persecution. We're also going to see this rising up within our own churches. Um, you're going to you're going to see, like I see it now. I get it all the time from the church crowd <laughs> because the church crowd right now is the most hateful crowd out there. They're the most vindictive, the most vicious. Uh, any one of these people uh, that are trying to save the world coming on my forums uh, and lists uh, would be the first ones to hang us up on, on, on a tree and nail us. I mean, they would, uh, you know, hang you upside down, nail you, burn you on a thousand different ways. They're vicious. And it's going to be the regular church crowd today that will come up against this remnant of true believers of the Lord, uh, the ones who don't go along uh, with, with the modern uh, agenda <laughs> established by the Roman Catholic Church some 15, 1800 years ago uh, when they decided what was going to be believed and what wasn't going to be in the churches, what was tossed in and what was left out, who was going to replace what. Uh, you know, they, they've mangled everything. If you study what the early church believers taught, what the early church fathers taught, the disciples themselves, and what Jesus told them before he left, compared to what's being taught now, it's two different things. And all of these people involved with the systems there, like the TBN, the churches, the followers of Benny Hinn, Pat Robertson, all of these beast prophets, all of these churches today, uh, that would, that, uh, their churches, they would self-help guru seminars, masked in, in religious terminology. Uh, these are the very ones who will come up against uh, the real believers of the Most High. And, and most of the real believers of the Most High today aren't even sitting in churches. Most of them aren't. They've left them. They've left them a long time ago. And there's going to be so there's going to be a real division, a war, just between the churches themselves, <coughs> church believers, <coughs> against those who don't buy into the system that they have tried to put everybody in mind control under since they've been born, since you've been born. You, they, you've been, they have tried to mold you into their box of what to believe and what not to believe, what is true and what isn't. So we're going to take a break here, folks, and we're going to come back in about uh, two to three minutes. Listener call in line is 260-356-2611 for those who want to call in, and we'll be right back. This is the Reality Radio Network on Telstar 5 Transponder 5 and on the Internet at realityradionetwork.com.
welcome back, everybody. Uh, got a guest calling in tonight, and this is something I worked out for last week and couldn't get it through, and I didn't know if it was going to happen this week or not, and apparently it has. Uh, Janet Phelan, uh, I'm going to switch tracks for a little bit here tonight. Janet Phelan is calling in, and what she has is a lot of information, and we were talking earlier in the week about how they are poisoning our water supply. And just getting this information out uh, has been a real hassle for her. She suffered a lot of harassment and persecution. I know I sent her a phone card to do the show, and it came back with the postage ripped off. And so I wasn't real sure this interview was going to get off tonight, uh, but she's on the line. And I'm going to bring her on, and we're going to go ahead and do this interview tonight. Uh, welcome, Janet, to the show. Hello, Sherry. I'm so glad to be on the show. Yeah, I sent you an email earlier today. I don't know if you got it. Uh, no, I had not gotten the email, but I uh, and I didn't get the phone card, but I made other arrangements. Yeah, because I, well, I sent you an email because I'd sent it and it got sent back with the postage ripped off. That's very strange. Yeah. Well, they they do that to my stuff. I get it with when I used to do the orgo and orders myself. It was one of the typical harassments I would get. Uh, it doesn't even leave the city. They rip it off and then tell me how did you mail? How did I mail it without postage on to begin with? You know, and so it's one of the things that I deal with around here. Uh, but I'm glad to have you on the show tonight. Uh, why don't you tell our listeners uh, who you are and uh, about some of the work uh, you've done. Okay. Uh, my name is Janet Phelan. I have been a reporter over 25 years. I have written for the Los Angeles Times, the Long Beach Press-Telegram, Santa Monica Daily Press. I had some things published in Wee Magazine and other publications, both regional and national. And actually, I just got uh, the I, just today I got the advance copy of um, my first book, which is a book of poetry entitled "The Hitler Poems." And actually, it's not about Hitler; it's more about George Bush. But that just came in. Um, my advance copy came in today. I have been a reporter. I was on board at the Santa Monica Daily Press. I was working there as a columnist, and I was aware. I had been aware for some time that there had been plans in place to use uh, water as a weapon. And I know that when you start talking about this stuff, people will immediately consider you um, to be of diminished mentality. So I knew that I had to document this. Conspiracy so theory. substantiate it. Yeah. And um, so I went over to City Hall in Santa Monica in my nice little uh, reporter get-up and said, um, gee, we've been digging up the streets a lot lately. Could I see the water records? And um, within 24 hours, I didn't have a job anymore. Wow. And I didn't, you know, no, no, no hint of conspiracy, nothing, you know, never hinted. I thought anything unusual was going on, but that was the end of my job. And at this point, it seems to be the end of my mainstream media career. Um, this particular system, which has been, um, which they have been working on at least since 9-11, if not before, the water records became secured the week after 9-11. Now, this everybody's is, records or just Santa Monica? Tell oh, me. actually, um, I researched this in Santa Monica and in Los Angeles because I'm on, you know, I, I'm here on the west side um, of Los Angeles. However, um, the system is everywhere. It's everywhere in the United States of America. Um, it is referenced in the Patriot Act under the expansion of the Biological Weapons Statute. Now, um, you know, there are a lot of problems about 9-11. Um, a lot of people are making similarities to the Reichstag fires. And we certainly see the administration behaving in a very uh, aggressive way towards a non-aggressing countries. 